In this demonstration, we'll go over the communication of the DYN servo drives with an Arduino platform over RS-232 serial communication. The Arduino platform is very easy to use and provides a simple but versatile controller solution. Our demo setup uses the Arduino Mega Board controlling three DYN2 servo drives running 100W, 200W, and 400W motors. The same serial communication can be applied for the DYN4 servo drive as well. Before starting, make sure you're familiar with the Arduino board and servo drive you're using. The DMM servo drives uses a proprietary DYN232M protocol. The protocol details are available in the servo drive manuals. This serial communication can be used with any device that has serial UART port. The controller is always the master and servo drive is always the slave. The DYN232M serial protocol uses 38400 BPS baud rate with 1 start stop bit, 0 odd even verify bit, and 5 volt logic. The Arduino source code we use in this demo will be provided in the video description. The same source code for RS232 communication is available in C and C++ formats. We won't go over the details of the serial data, but here's the basic outline. Each communication is performed by sending data in 4-7 to seven byte packets. The first byte is the start byte containing the servo drive ID number. The second byte is the packet length and function code. Then, 1-4 to four bytes of data is sent, followed lastly by the CRC checksum. Please refer to the servo drive manual for more detailed information. This is a basic minimum parts list to implement the system. For the Arduino board, we strongly recommend using the Arduino Mega since it has multiple serial ports with 5V logic. Multiple serial ports allows us to communicate with the drive while still being able to write to the Arduino serial monitor. The serial monitor is essential for debugging and testing of the various functions in your code. We recommend starting with the DYN2 servo drive, a 400W motor, and a set of cables for communication. The DYN2 servo drive will also need a DC power supply. 48 volts DC power supply is most commonly used. The user also needs to make a 3-wire cable to connect from the Arduino to the servo drive. The wiring between the Arduino Mega and servo drive is very simple. Connect the Arduino Serial RX to the servo drive TX. From the servo drive TX, connect to the Arduino RX, then connect the ground between the two devices. Multiple servo drives can be connected to the same Arduino serial channel and daisy chain. Connect the Arduino TX to the first drive's RX. From the first drive's TX, connect to the second drive's RX and so on. Then, from the last drive's TX, connect to the Arduino RX. Also, connect all the device's grounds together. When the DYN servo drive receives data from the RX, it checks the drive ID. If it doesn't match, it forwards data out the TX sending it to the second drive. Be careful with communication timing and delays when the data travels through each drive. In our system, we're using Serial 3 port on the Arduino Mega to connect to the three DYN2 servo drives. Serial 0 is used for the serial monitor. Set the servo drive in RS-232 command input mode and set the drive ID number as needed. In our system, the three servo drives are set to ID numbers 1, 2, and 3. The ID number 127 is broadcast and is accepted by all servo drives. Download and install the Arduino IDE. Before connecting the servo drive, run the basic blink example on the Arduino to make sure it's operating normally. Also test the servo drive and motor to make sure you're familiar with them. Please be careful with the next steps as the motors will begin movement. Keep all loose clothing and objects away from the motor shaft and make sure the motor can run freely. Connect the servo drive to the Arduino Mega, then load and run the DYN232M sample code. Open the serial monitor to see the messages displayed. In our sample Arduino program, we first set up the serial monitor and serial 3 ports with 38400 baud rate. Then set the built-in LED port to output and print a program starting message to the serial monitor. In the program loop, we first print the starting loop message then toggle the LED. First, a move relative position command of 65536 is sent to servo drive with ID 1, then a 250 millisecond delay. Then the second command is sent to servo drive ID 2, then servo drive ID 3. 
We delay one second between each command to make sure the motor has finished movement. Then each servo drive's encoder position is read and displayed in the serial monitor. The loop finishes by printing an end loop message. Follow the code to see the details of the move relative and read motor position commands of the servo drive. The Arduino serial port is called in the read package and send package functions. Recall that our servo drives are all connected to serial 3, so we call serial 3. Change the serial port number in this part of the program if you are using a different serial port. The DYN232M serial protocol allows virtually all communication with the servo drive including read, write parameters, sending relative and absolute move commands and reading the encoder position and torque etc. These are all controlled by the function codes as shown. We'll do another quick example to turn the motor at constant speed. We can write a new function for this with arguments drive ID and speed. In this function, we first set the axis number as the ID and set the global function as 0xA hex according to the function code list in the previous page. Then we'll call this function sending drive ID3 a constant speed command of 750 rpm. The drive with ID3 responds by rotating the motor at 750 rpm in clockwise direction. In the sample code for this, we'll call the turn constant speed command once in the setup. Then in the loop, we'll read the motor encoder position of drive ID3 and print to serial monitor. Then delay 100 milliseconds to repeat every 100 milliseconds. This concludes our Arduino serial communication demo. Using the information in this video, the DYN servo drive can be easily implemented into any application. Thank you for watching and for more information, please contact us.